looking for some fun and inexpensive ways to fill those Easter baskets this Sunday morning. Kelly Snyder from Kansas City Mamas is here to help us. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Okay, where are great places to look for the baskets, the pre-made baskets? The pre-made baskets, what you're going to want to do, honestly, what I tell people is to look at your house first and okay. reuse as much as you can because, honestly, I don't think the kids ever really know as remember if the basket was green last year or mm -hmm. blue or if you want to do some Easter Bunny trading, maybe your girlfriends oh, have certain and baskets and you can trade with their baskets and so it just helps you save money overall. Okay, what are your ideas in terms of doing it yourself? Uh, Kid, like my kids, they actually love money. They so, love coins more than the candy, which is way better for their teeth and right. health. <laughs> you know what? I think it's just thinking outside of the box and mm -hmm. really um, knowing that it doesn't all have to be about candy. We can find other things as well. Mm -hmm. Change is also really popular in our house. Um, we've done things before for my daughter where we've done fingernail polish and oh, strawberry cute. shortcake band-aids. Bubbles are really good. Um, if they're into a specific item, like say that your kid is really into Nerf guns, looking at like replacement Nerf gun bullets, mm -hmm. those kind of things. So just different things that you know they're going to love but it's smaller stuff that doesn't necessarily have to be something huge and things they already need yes so you're like <laughs> got that covered you know like pens and yep if they're into art I always think like markers are a really great idea pens are a really good idea notebooks um, probably the biggest hit I've ever had for um, Easter baskets was I did um, their own toothbrush and toothpaste you mm -hmm. would have thought that they would have struck gold and so just really thinking outside of the box honestly I think is the best thing and it doesn't always have to be the same same but you know sometimes same same is okay as well mm -hmm. as you know when you look at maybe stuffed animals or books about Easter or those kind of things too. Now the kids they do expect candy yes. so where can you find good deals on candy? There's good deals everywhere right now yeah. on candy I think everybody is trying to get everybody to have their Easter candy so mm -hmm. um, Target has great deals you're Drugstores are having great deals. Um, my advice, though, on candy is make sure it's the candy that your kids like and that you like. Sometimes we go overboard and we feel the need to always have jelly beans. Well, if your kids don't like jelly beans, then ditch them and move on. Mm -hmm. um, if you know that you are a big Reese's peanut butter egg fan, then buy extra ones of those, stick them in the free freezer for later on. But buy the stuff that you know that you're going to eat so that you don't have, as I refer to it, the ever ending candy that goes on and on and on. But doesn't it feel like we were talking about this earlier that we have candy from Halloween and then it's Christmas candy and then it's Valentine's candy? I still have a basket of Valentine's candy. When do you throw it away? What's your, what's your rule of thumb? Next holiday, time to go. <laughs> time to go. Yeah. So, so if you still have <laughs> Valentine's Day candy in your, you know, your baskets at home, toss it, move in Easter candy. Yeah, because otherwise it's just there forever and you're going to keep eating on it and that's no good for anybody. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Okay, do you have any good ideas for Easter egg hunts? You know what? I love, um, I'm a big fan of doing them overnight. I'm a big fan of doing like secret ones where you, I mean, put them in the light fixtures where you do the crazy, as crazy as you can. I think kids really remember that and appreciate it. And so anything you can do to just make it memorable and different. I've had like progressive Easter egg hunts where they find one egg and it tells them to go find another egg, which oh, tells them to find fun. another egg, which tells them to go do something else. And they love that. So any way that you can be original in something different, I think that's going to be memorable for your kids. What about the dollar store? I love the dollar <laughs> store. Um, Do you like to go on your own little hunts there? It is. I mean, it's a great place for like ponytail holders and balloons, mm -hmm. um, green army men, rubber balls, jacks, um, funky coffee cups so mm -hmm. that your kid has a specific cup that's theirs. I love the dollar store. And again, a great way to you know, spend five or six bucks and have a really cool basket that is unique to your kid. And guess what? Your kids have no idea that it costs just a buck. Right. They'll right. appreciate it and love it. Well, have a wonderful Easter. You Thank too. you Thank so much you. for stopping by. We appreciate it. Now let's check in with Michael.